what do you want your legacy to be? I mean, you're, I know you're 22, it's yeah, pretty strong, but like if you could be like, hey, this is what I want to be in my podcast. I don't know, you know, right now it's hard to say what I want my legacy to be, you know, what I want people to say when I'm long gone. At this point, right now, I'm gonna say that I want people to see me as an entertainer, someone who can do it all. She's just one of those individuals that, that would light up a room. She's one of those individuals that are very down to earth. She doesn't really feel like um, Aaliyah, like a big superstar. She always felt like just a beautiful person, like a special individual, just a beautiful young lady. Big voice and an even bigger dream. From Detroit, Michigan, welcome 10 year old Aliyah Hutton. I think the first CD that I asked my mom to buy was probably Aaliyah. Um, you know, back in the day, they had the CDs with like, I think like the special the special edition with like the, the music videos on it. So like I would like sit in front of the TV all day and just trying to mimic Aaliyah's like dance moves. Like I loved her so much. How you doing? I just want Aaliyah. Can you say hi? You dance for Aaliyah? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Aaliyah. Um, you sort of look like Aaliyah, though. I don't know. I know. Everybody say that because, you know, we family. She had a um, mysticness, too, that made you want to know more about Aaliyah. Um, and, and her spirit, once again, you can sense a person don't have to uh, say much. You can walk in a room and sense when somebody just giving off bad energy and just her spirit alone like she could walk in a room and brighten this whole room up well this without listening to any music aside from her just being talented mm -hmm. i think um the same thing with her with when i came out when when she came out uh people were dressed in a certain kind of way and she came out with the boxes mm -hmm. the big pants mm -hmm. you know the shades and uh I think that was something that that was different at that time and so it it made people be like yo who is this chick she everybody else is doing this and she's doing that i dress in my baggy clothes every day and i am a laid back person which is what i portray on the camera i do i'm laid back i'm mellow kind of jazzy i like the jazzy music so it's really not much of a difference which is probably why it's so easy because it really is how i am it's been said that a lot of these groups coming out a lot of artists have similar sounds and they dress similar, and I did want something to kind of set myself apart from everybody else. And I would say that the kind of, the, the, the jazzy type of flair that's in my songs kind of set me apart in a way. Because everyone is, they, they say that everyone's kind of similar nowadays. I just found like comfort in all of Aaliyah's music and her, um, her melody choices and the things that she talks about and sort of how she always like, like conveyed these amazing emotions but never got too sappy you know she always like kept it G. Well this next song talks about love and relationships. Now me personally I think you should be friends before lovers. Now there is a very thin line between friends and lovers. I call it a street thing. I don't know about you guys but I'm gonna sing it for you and then y'all can find out. Y'all ready?
feel like she just kept it so G, like she almost spoke from a guy's perspective at points. And, you know, to me, it was like, you know, she'd say things that were like funny, she'd say things that were witty, she would say things that made you be like, yeah, like, I, I felt like that was the first time I could really sing a woman's lyrics and not feel like I was singing a woman's lyrics because she was speaking generally. And that had the biggest influence on my music because as much as my, um, music may be geared towards women, I try not to make it so that only women can sing it. I try to put pieces in where guys don't feel uncomfortable singing a song about women, you know what I mean? And um, I get that from Aaliyah, you know? She was so great at keeping it general, gen like not gender specific, but keeping it so complex. You know, coming out so young at 15 and having success at that age, of course it was there were times when I felt like I was in a daze and I couldn't believe that this was happening. I'd worked so hard, you know, I, I'd been rejected, you know, I, I lost on Star Search. I went out for a lot of, I auditioned with a lot of record companies that didn't think I had it. So to finally have that album and have that success, you know, I was like, wow, you know, I did it. So I, even to this day, there are times when I sit back and I'm like, wow, you know, I've, I'm acting now. I've, I'm, I'm really doing everything that I want to do. And it's, it's an amazing feeling, so. You know, you have this idea in your mind of what a superstar will be like, and very unapproachable, standoffish, like all of the above. And meeting Aaliyah was like, it was like completely opposite of that. It was like, meeting Aaliyah was like meeting somebody who wanted to meet me versus me meeting somebody I wanted to meet. You know what I mean? She was, she was so gracious to meet me. I was like, that's different. You know what I mean? Like, she went into questions, so where you from? Like, what, like what's going on? Like, we, we started talking like she was an Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she was like she was a distant cousin that I had just met and didn't know was my cousin, and we needed to catch up. She was always gracious. She was always cool. The only goal I want to achieve is, like I said before, to be perceived as an entertainer. That's really all I'm trying to do and to enjoy my work and make good music and make good films and, you know, do good videos. Um, I see myself, I like to look at myself as a trendsetter, as an artist that's cutting edge and just an all-around great performer. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A breaking story out of the Bahamas tonight. Authorities have confirmed that R&B singer and actress Aaliyah is among eight people killed in a plane crash. Yeah, the plane crashed as it tried to take off from the island of Abaco in the Bahamas. Nine people, all Americans, were on board that plane. One man survived the crash and was taken to a nearby hospital. The plane was leaving Marsh Harbor Airport around 3.50 local time when it went down. Aaliyah and her crew had been shooting a video in the Bahamas. The plane was taking the group back to the United States when it crashed. I feel like we have to meet up again because we were so locked in on a soul level. You know what I'm saying? And we also believed in a lot of the same shit. It was almost like when we spoke, we were preparing each other for who it was that was going to have to deal with this. And it ended up being me, and it's cool. I preferred to be me to feel that pain. You know, you never really get over death. You just learn to live with it. And I miss her. You know, I always miss her. I've never come across anyone like her. So at the end of the day, if I could do it all again, I would. You know, I would definitely have convinced her not to go on that plane because we had conversations about it on the way there. Um, but being that I was able to experience something that I didn't even, couldn't even fathom with someone that was so iconic uh, I feel lucky in that respect to have even been near someone like her and for her to feel the way she did. So, I don't know. It's like the more I think about her, it's not the sadder you get, it's actually almost the happier I get. You know, just because I was able to spend those serious moments with her. 
she just made phenomenal music and she was beautiful. And, you know, she was a girl that I fell in love with early in my life. You know, I feel like if she was still here, I would probably like be pursuing her in a major way, you know, because that's like, I was, I was truly like uh, in love with her very early on. So. It wasn't just beauty, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was everything inside of her that, that made her dope, that, um, that most don't have and still don't have. And I want people to look at me as a full-on entertainer and a good person. So, you know, we'll talk a few years down the line and we'll see where my head is at then, but that's what I want for right now. I mean, her time was coming where she was going to just explode. Um, she was already huge, but she was definitely going to get bigger with all the movies that were coming out, her hit album. Um, you could tell we, we all saw her grow up from a little girl into a woman. And, you know, it's, it's just a hard, sad day just for everybody, but it's also a wake-up call that we have to all appreciate life and appreciate each other while we're here. And my prayers go out to her and her family. Groundbreaking things that she did as far as her look, as far as her music. And put it this way, it's a lot of artists. It's not a lot of superstars. Nah, nah. Hey there.